how do you multiply rational numbers? Well, that's really three questions in one, um, because multiplying rational numbers really means that you're multiplying a number that can be expressed as a fraction, um, which could then be expressed as a decimal. So really what you're asking is, how do you multiply fractions? How do you multiply decimals? And then how do you multiply positive or negative numbers? Because obviously rationals could be positive or negative. So let's take each of those parts of your question individually. Uh, multiplying fractions is actually easier than it looks um, because you don't have to worry about common denominators the way you do with uh, adding or subtracting fractions. To multiply fractions, like say um, 2 sevenths times 3 fifths, you just multiply straight across. So 2 times 3 is 6, and 7 times 5 is 35. So your new fraction is just the multiple of the other two fractions straight across. And if this then reduces, you should. Um, but it doesn't always reduce. If it doesn't reduce, you just leave it the way it's written. Um, another example might be uh, 1 third times 4 sevenths. 1 times 4 is 4. 3 times 7 is 21. So 4 21st is my answer. So that's, that's pretty straightforward. Now multiplying decimals, um, multiplying decimals is really a matter of what you don't do. You don't worry about the decimal at the beginning. Um, 3.12 times 6.5, for instance. When you're multiplying decimals, ignore the decimal point. Just do the multiplication as if these were whole numbers. So this would be 312 times 65. 5 times 2 is 10, 5 times 1 is 5, plus 1 is 6, skip a space, I'm sorry, 5 times 3 is 15, <laughs> don't forget that part, <laughs> skip a space, 6 times 2 is 12, 6 times 1 is 6, plus 1 is 7, 6 times 3 is 18, and then we add straight down, 0, 8, 12, 10, 2, so then we have this big old long number. It looks like 202,080. Well, that's technically correct if you were multiplying 312 by 65. But our original number wasn't 312 by 65. We had one, two, three total decimal places that were in our original problem. So we take our answer and we move back those three decimal places and put the decimal back in. So then our answer is 20.280. Now we check for reasonable is six and a half times a little more than three about 20? Yeah, our answer is reasonable. So multiplying decimals, just ignore the decimal points, multiply them as there are whole numbers, and then count the number of decimal places you sort of dropped at the beginning and put them back in your answer. Now multiplying positive and negative, that's the easiest one of all. If there is an odd number of negatives, then your answer is negative. If there's not an odd number, then there's an even number, and the answer is positive. So even number is positive. Yeah? And so for example, let me clear our page here. For example, if I had, say, um, 5 times negative 2 times 1 times negative 1. 5 times 2 is 10 times 1 is 10, times 1 is 10, my number is going to be 10, then I go back and just count the negative signs. I had 1, 2 negative signs, 2 is an even number, so my answer is positive. Yeah? If I had 2 times negative 3, times negative 2, times negative 1, 2 times 3 is 6, times 2 is 12, times 1 is 12, my number is 12, but now I have 1, 2, three negatives, that's an odd number, so my answer is negative. That's it.